Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. Today, I want to show you my Division 2 configuration tutorial for Zim Apex. It will also work with a Zim 4. In this video I will go over the following topics. First I will show you the necessary preparation steps that are needed for this tutorial. This includes the required in-game settings and the polling rate adjustments. The second topic will be about the Zim hip and aim down sights configuration. I will show you all the necessary adjustments so that you can precisely aim and zoom with your favorite weapon and have a great hip fire accuracy on top of that. The third topic is about a sprint configuration. Division 2 will lower your mouse sensitivity while you are sprinting. If you have problems with the reduced turn speed, then you can use this trick to faster and easier turn while sprinting. In the fourth topic I will show you a method with which you can reduce the weapon recoil while you are zooming. In those situations the weapon recoil is really strong and much harder to compensate than from the hip. With this configuration you can control your aim down sights weapon recoil a lot easier though. Topic 3 and 4 are add-ons, you do not necessarily need to use them. The configuration tutorial is already complete after topic 1 and 2. Before I start with the first topic, this video is built on top of my basic Zim configuration guide. If you are a Zim newcomer, and you do not know how to enable the expert mode, update your game profile list, or create a new Zim game profile, then I highly recommend you to watch this video first. You can find it under link 1 in the video description. These steps are not shown in this video. As always, you can find the copy and paste codes of everything that I show you in this tutorial in the video description. If you have problems to understand this tutorial, then you can either ask in the comments down below, or you can click on the pastebin link in the video description. This will forward you to the full English text of this tutorial. You can use the text with a translation software for example. But let's start with the first topic of this video. Which Zim and mouse polling rate you should use for the Division 2. First start your Zim manager and connect it to your Zim. Once that is done, click on the options button in the top right. After that head into the global settings. Here you can adjust your Zim polling rate. Division 2 works best with 1000 Hz for both, your Zim and your mouse. The reason is that the Division 2 has a higher input lag than most other console games. This will cause a minor delay between a button press and the visual confirmation on the screen. Therefore, it makes sense to set your Zim to the highest polling rate, so you do not add any additional lag on top of that. If your mouse cannot run 1000 Hz, then you should use the highest polling rate profile that your mouse supports. This will then also be the polling rate that you use for your Zim. Once you have adjusted your Zim polling rate, hit the save button in the bottom right. You can now leave this menu by pressing the arrow in the top left. After that, power cycle your Zim Apex. You do that by unplugging and reconnecting your Zim to the console. That way you restart your Zim. This is necessary so that your polling rate changes become active. You can ignore this step if you use a Zim 4. The reason is that it runs on a locked 125Hz polling rate. The next step is to adjust the in-game settings of the Division 2. Click on the wrench button in the bottom right of your game picture, and then continue by pressing the yes button in the pop-up window. That way you will be directed to the Zim forums with the recommended Zim settings. Do not use any other settings or else your Zim game configuration will not work as intended. As you can see, you do not have to change a lot in the game. All the other in-game settings that are not listed in the Zim forum can be adjusted to your personal preference. Those will not have an influence on the quality of your mouse movements. So, start your Division 2 game and head into its game options. Once you have adjusted your in-game settings, you can go back to your Zim manager. The second topic is about the actual Division 2 Zim configuration. Click the Configuration Edit button in the top left to enter the editing menu of your Division 2 configuration. The first thing you should do here is to change the configuration light. Pick your favorite color from the list. 
I will go with green for this tutorial. Whenever my Zim now shows a green light, I know that my Division 2 game profile is running. On the right side of the configuration color you can find the hotkey option. I will use the F1 key for this feature. This allows me to load my Division 2 Zim profile by pressing F1 on my keyboard whenever I want to. Now let's swipe one time to the right in your Division 2 Zim configuration. This will load the hip menu. The first thing you should do here is to adjust your synchronization settings. Under your Zim hip sensitivity you can find a button with three dots. Click that button to open the advanced options of your mouse movements. The synchronization feature has a big influence on how smooth and responsive your mouse movements will be. It also plays a big role in how strong or weak the aim assist is. Synchronization Default and Common give the best mouse movements in Division 2. Default will give you slightly more responsive mouse movements, which is the best pick if the input lag of the game is too high for you. Synchronization Common gives more aim assist and smoother mouse movements. I will go with Default for this tutorial as I prefer the more responsive mouse movements. If you have a Zim 4 then you can ignore this setting as it runs on a locked default synchronization. Once you have picked your preferred synchronization value, you can continue by adjusting your hip sensitivity in your Zim manager. Go with a sensitivity that you feel comfortable with. If you are unsure which mouse sensitivity works best for you, then I highly recommend you to watch my tutorial video on how to find your perfect Zim sensitivity. You can find it under link 2 in the video description. My preferred Zim Hip Mouse Sensitivity for Division 2 is 26. If you want to play with a higher or lower value, then this is absolutely fine. My sensitivity of 26 is based on 3200 dpi. I highly recommend you to use at least 3000 dpi for the best mouse movements. If you want to learn more about mouse DPI, and how it affects your Zim and the quality of your mouse movements, then you can watch my best mouse and Zim DPI tutorial under link 3 in the video description. Next to the synchronization feature you can find the steady aim and boost option. Steady aim can be helpful to reduce the weapon recoil. Since the hip fire weapon recoil isn't very strong in this game though, I will only use this feature in the fourth topic of this video. The boost feature is a must for the Division 2. It greatly helps to make your mouse movements feel more responsive. Thanks to the synchronization and boost feature, the input lag delay of the Division won't be a big problem anymore. For boost I suggest a value between 150 and 200. Go with a lower value if you use synchronization default, and with a higher one if you use common. Since I play with synchronization default, I will go with 150 for this tutorial. If you experience mouse stutter, then you can now add some smoothing. With the settings I show you in this video there should be no mouse stutter though. If you still want to add some smoothing, then I recommend you a value of 0 to 5 for this game. Don't use more than that to keep your mouse movements responsive. The Simulate Analog Behavior feature is a Zim option that I do not recommend to use in the Division. Because of the fairly high input lag delay of the Division, any Simulate Analog Behavior value just feels wrong. As if your character would skate on ice. You can find this feature by scrolling down a little bit until you can see the movement options. At the bottom of it you can click the button with the three dots again to expand the advanced settings. There you can find the simulate analog behavior feature. If you still want to use it, then I would recommend a value range of 0 to 30. If your Zim manager doesn't show you the boost, steady aim or simulate analog behavior feature, then you have to update your Zim and your Zim manager to the latest version. This is one of the things that I addressed in the basic Zim configuration guide. Also, if you want to learn more about those three new features, then you can also check out the tutorial videos on my channel. The next thing to do is to customize your button bindings. Scroll down until you can find the button binding options. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now, or you go with your own one. Use buttons that you can comfortably click while moving around with your Division 2 character. 
Your ability buttons should preferably be placed on keys that you can press at the same time as your character movement keys. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the button for the advanced settings again. Click it to get the option to switch to the secondary button bindings. This allows you to bind every controller action a second time. Make use out of this if there are actions you would like to bind twice. I don't have any action that I would like to bind a second time. When your button bindings are complete, you can swipe one more time to the right. That way you will access the aim down sights configuration. The first thing you should do here is to make sure that your activation key is the same key that you bound to aim down sights in your hip primary button bindings. Your Zim Apex should automatically pick the correct key for this. If you use a Zim 4 then you might have to manually adjust your activation button. At the bottom of your aim down sight sensitivity you can find the button for the advanced settings again. Open these settings and pick the same synchronization profile that you use in your hip configuration. For me this means I will go with synchronization default again. As for the boost value, I recommend to use the same value range as before, which was 150 to 200. Since I use synchronization default, I will go with 150 for this tutorial again. You can also add some steady aim now if you want to. I will use this in a separate configuration later though to not reduce the general accuracy of the aim down sights configuration. Smoothing should once again not be needed. If you want to add it though, then you can do that now. The last step is to adjust your aim down sight sensitivity. Scroll up again and pick a sensitivity that you feel comfortable with. I prefer an aim down sight sensitivity of 12.5. In the last two topics I will show you some very useful sub-configuration tips. If you do not want to use those, then your Division 2 configuration is now complete. You can hit the Save button and exit this configuration with the arrow in the top left. In the third topic I will show you how to set up a sprint sub-configuration. The slower turn speed while sprinting in the game can be a problem when you want to turn around quickly. With the following trick it will be very easy though. The first thing you have to do is to set your sprint activation to hold in the game settings. So once again go into your game settings and change your sprint setting to hold instead of toggle. This is necessary or else you will have to use a lot of deactivation keys for your sprint configuration. And even then, there is a high chance for the configuration to go out of sync. Therefore, we will use the hold sprint feature. After that you can go back to your Zim Manager. The next step is to swipe one more time to the right to enter a new auxiliary configuration. After that, click on the Enable button to activate this configuration. The first step is to set the correct activation key. Use the same key that you assigned in your hip configuration to the sprint action. For me this is the left alt key. Once that is done, click on the Advanced Settings button right below the Activation key. There you can set a delay value. Set the delay to 250 milliseconds. This delay will make sure that you can still shortly press your Sprint button to change your camera position while zooming. This quick button press will then not activate the Sprint sub-configuration. After that, you can scroll down to the Aim options. The first step here is to expand the advanced settings. Once again pick the same synchronization value that you use in your hip configuration. I will go with common again. The next step is to adjust the boost value. Set the boost feature to 1500 for this sub configuration. This will make your mouse movements a lot more responsive and faster while sprinting. The last step is to adjust the mouse sensitivity at the top. Use a sensitivity that is twice as fast as your hip sensitivity. Since I used a hip sensitivity of 26, I will go with 52 for this auxiliary configuration. This sub-configuration is now complete. It will work like the following. When you want to sprint in the game, just hold down your sprint button. This will activate your sprint configuration and increase your mouse turn speed. When you want to stop sprinting, just release your sprint button. 
As I said earlier, you can still shortly click your sprint button to change the camera from one shoulder to the other one without activating this configuration. The fourth topic will be about a sub-configuration that helps you to control the weapon recoil while being in aim down sights. The Division has a pretty strong weapon recoil system. In the hip mode it is not so hard to control, but when you are zooming with a weapon it can become quite difficult. Therefore I will now show you a trick with which you can reduce the weapon recoil while zooming with a weapon. Swipe one more time to the right to enter a new sub-configuration. Click the Enable button to activate this configuration. The first step here is to bind an activation button. Use a button that you haven't bound yet. This button will also act as a second fire button, so use one that you can comfortably press while zooming with your weapon. I will use the middle scroll click button of my mouse for that. When I go into aim down sights with my right mouse button I have two options. I can either shoot with the left mouse button for weapons that don't have a lot of recoil, or I shoot with the middle scroll click button with reduced weapon recoil. I will explain this in more detail after the configuration setup. The next step is to copy your aim down sights configuration settings into this new sub configuration. Everything has to be identical. I went with an aim down sights sensitivity of 12.5 so I will have to pick it here again. When I expand the advanced settings, I will go with the same options there too. I used the default synchronization setting, and a boost value of 150. If necessary swipe back to your aim down sights configuration to check what you have used there. Once that is done, scroll all the way to the bottom. Switch the translator option from hip to aim down sights there. You do that by pressing the arrow on the right side. After that continue by changing the XY ratio and the steady aim option. For the steady aim option I will go with a value of 3. As for the XY ratio, I recommend to use a value between 1.2 and 1.8 for this configuration. I will go with a value of 1.5 here since I plan to use this sub configuration mainly for weapons with very strong recoil. Don't go too high or else it will become hard to make horizontal adjustments while shooting. When you have adjusted those two values, you can scroll up again. In the top right you can find the Inherit option. Untick this box. This will allow you to change the button bindings of this sub-configuration. The last step is to scroll down again until you can see the button bindings. Replace the Fire button with the Activation button that you assigned to this configuration. In my case that is the middle scroll click button of my mouse again. This sub-configuration is now complete and works like the following. When you are zooming with a weapon that has close to no recoil, then you shoot it by pressing your left mouse button. However if that weapon has a lot of recoil and you want to reduce it, then you can shoot by pressing your recoil sub-activation button instead of your left mouse button. The anti-recoil configuration will only be active for as long as you shoot. The advantage of this configuration is that the XY ratio and the steady aim will not mess up your mouse accuracy or muscle memory when you are aiming with your weapon. Those two features are only active while you are shooting with the gun. Since all the other adjustments are identical to your aim down sights configuration, you will not feel a sensitivity jump that will throw of your aim when using the anti-recoil configuration. This will allow you to control your weapon recoil a lot better. And of course you always have the option to shoot without recoil reduction when using the left mouse button. This Division 2 configuration is now complete. You can hit the save button and exit this configuration with the arrow in the top left. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about this Division 2 configuration, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Of course, you can also use my Fortnite creator code if you want to. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.